Hi, I'm Jeff Hewlett, CTO at Vectrex and architect of the SpikeSafe series current sources. SpikeSafes are used worldwide in photometric reliability testing applications. I'm here to talk to you about ways to improve your LED light measurements, and the first of these ways is by providing sustained power to your LED. Now the first question that ever comes up when you talk about power is how much power. And here we can see a grid showing the LED market and the LEDs in terms of voltage and current where they fall on that grid. A lot of them are in the lower left but overall the trend is moving upward to higher currents and to the right to higher voltages. Now we can take a common performance current source and overlay it onto this grid and see how it lands. You can see it's in the lower left corner and the shading shows its performance area. Dark shows DC and the lighter shades pulsed areas. The DC area only covers a small portion of the grid. In fact, this source, though it advertises 500 watts, can only deliver 20 watts of DC. Beyond that, it has to go to pulsing, and the pulses are fairly short, only one millisecond for the longest pulse. We can take another current source and overlay it. This one has 1,000 watts of peak power, but again, its DC is quite limited, 42 watts. And the longest pulse in this case is 2.5 milliseconds. That's still not long enough to do a single pulse LED measurement, which usually takes about 50 milliseconds. Now we can take the spike safe current source and put it on the grid and you'll see it covers a much larger area and there's a single shade. That's because the spike safe uses continuous power conversion and so it can provide DC or pulse power at the same specs, a thousand watts for either. That source covers a large part of the grid and there are other spike safes that cover the remaining LEDs on the grid. So you can see all of them use the same software command set. Well, why do you care about this? You care about this because there are three methods that are commonly used for testing LED. DC, single pulse, and continuous pulse. All of them have advantages, and you may need to use any of the three methods in your laboratory. In fact, it's quite common to need to compare results to another laboratory that might use, say, for example, single pulse or DC. So as you see, all of the three sources we looked at today, only the spike safe can support all three methods. And this is because of its continuous power conversion characteristic. So you see sustained power is the first step to improving your LED light measurements. Go to Vectrex.com to learn more about SpikeSafe current sources and to see the next webinar on lowering your junction temperature to improve your overall accuracy.